Welcome back, any lovers. Today we are checking out Claim Warriors of the Lost Kingdom. So, gonna grab yourself a plate. This is an incredibly intriguing deck builder. It's got some super cool aesthetics. It, it is, looks so freaking cool from the, the previews that I've seen, and I'm very excited to bring it to you guys. So, we're gonna hop in here, check out the game for a little while. As always, if you enjoy it, please check the links down below. Also, if you enjoy the channel, you want to check out any of the links down below to be able to interact with us more. There are uh, links down below to do that. Let's get rolling here. Character creation. Pick your character's race and background. Notice how both change your starting attributes, giving you an early boost to your preferred playstyle. On top of it, each race and background combination comes with its own starting deck. Now, I played about five minutes of this until I realized my mic was off, so I had to start over. So what I did was I did a dwarf, dwarf farmhand. This way I start with this. Dwarves of Clan Ironbeard called Ruthia their home long before the outsiders arrived. Those centuries have passed. The mass migration did not make friends out of the two people. So we're gonna confirm it. There we go. I wonder if, wonder if I can change my name. Ruthia, the last province, 200 days before its fall. I'm also having a drink with you guys right now. So it's a spiked peach tea. Very good. A hungry adventurer makes for a horror, or wakes for a horrible dream. I'm horrible at reading this text. I'd made that mistake twice already. <laughs> Ruminating on your past. As a dwarf of one of the proudest clans in the hold, you were destined for a long life of battles and glory. However, things changed when the leader of your clan was found guilty of smuggling Mithril out to the humans. Your clan was dissolved, stripped of the titles and honor. You and your clan was cast away and labeled outsiders. Among dwarves, your standing is now shamefully equal to that of the other races. To make ends meet among humans, you became I became a muscle for hire because I am a strong man. You just found out an extra card based on your previous choices. Click on it and it will automatically be added to your deck. You'll get more cards from the adventure and leveling up and defeating elite enemies. Two charges on blunt hit, punish three. Punish permanently reduces max HP of the enemy. Um, I spend four defense to deal six damage. Four charges on block, deal two physical. I'm gonna go with this one. It's a huge hammer, so I'm like down. The world map allows you to travel by clicking on names of nearby places. You are allowed to peek a little outside of your character's view range, but you cannot see the entire map. Oh, okay, so if I wanted to go, that's a collapse cha shaft. It's a treacherous, treacherous, treacherous. So all of them are treacherous. I think I'm gonna start heading towards town. Let's go to the Iron Ridge Pass. Help! Stay out of this, stranger. Please! One more word and I'll pit that tongue out of your filthy mouth, vulture. Yeah, look at this aesthetic. It's so cool. Enemy traits. Reduces maximum. Sickly. Reduces max HP. Okay, so they're sick. You're about to fight an enemy with a combat altering passive trait. Traits can be very dangerous when left ignored. I don't really have a chance. I mean, I gotta fight them no matter what, right? Deal three damage. Blood plus or sorry, defense plus one. For four turns, defense plus two, destroy. Unspend. Oh, well, before each new turn, you are allowed to remove a single card from your hand. Extra mana is granted for the next turn. The maximum number of cards you can hold, as well as the maximum number of cards you draw each turn. Hand size. You can three times two of me. Uh, as your character gets stronger, your hand size quickly improves. Persistent defense. Unspent defense points carry over to the next turn. Maximum defense is limited to half of your maximum HP. Okay. Spend four defense to deal six damage as physical. Five stacks of trauma will cause a stun effect. Your hand stays. Your hand persists to the next round, allowing you to strategize over multiple turns. Okay. Ooh. Unspent mana carries over to your next turn, too. Okay, cool. When the time playing tactics get played on top left corner of the screen, those cards typically trigger their effects between turns until they expire. And then I do three blunt. Order combat. Once you take your turn, run out of playable cards or pass, the enemy will immediately retaliate. Between turns, you enter an optional discard phase. Do I have two defense? Yeah, I have two defense. Oh, yeah, I have two defense right there. Ow. 
Ow, he's hurting the crap out of me. Each type of damage is mechanically unique and comes with synergies you can exploit. I think it's the blunt. Power of passives that affect your cards. You can inspect active status effects under your opponent's HP bar. Okay, cool. I'll claim the experience. There's a lot going on at one time there. Huh. Let's see. Thank you. This would have been end of me if you didn't show up. They're getting crazier by the day, I swear. Take his head to the town. I heard some rumors that the guild is about to start painting out bounties. Also, you're best find a friendly village and recover from those wounds while you can. Prosperous. Prosperous. Dale Watch. Ooh, what's this? Level up. Unlike in class-based deck builders, here you make your own class every run. Increasing your attributes grants you small bonuses and perks, but also dictates which cards you will discover. Heads of defeated bandits are a reliable source of income. Oh, nice. Oh, so I'm like bumping up here and, and doing extra stuff, huh? Let's go with the... Uh Spend a skill point to prove your strength? Yes. When you level up, you discover a choice of card. The draw is random, but the pool cards is fully dependent on your character's build. For example, a full strength character is likely to choose from fighter-like cards while a pure int base guarantees spells. However, by mixing strength with something unlikely like int, you will not only see both, but also discover cards that are completely unique to the strength times int pairing. Every such pairing in the game has its own special set of cards. Ooh. Yes, he con nine, so I got that. That's why I deal physical defense plus two. Hits hits build up trauma are guaranteed to cause at least fifty percent of face value. I like that. So I have a dead Dale Watch Tower. Or sorry, is that Dale Watch lower a tower? I can't tell. Or a spruce horn. Let's go spruce horn. Friendly settlements. Most towns and villages will allow you to rest and use their services, as long as you have the currency to spend. Speak of the devil. Yep, this is the one I just told you about. Saved my life, they did. It looked like they wouldn't last a day on duty. Considering all your militias do is hide behind the walls, you might be right. Be gone, peddler, before I throw you outside our walls for the night. Well, 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 fancy yourself a vigilante, stranger. It's true that them merchant guild big shots pay a bounty per head. Come see me at the outpost when you got some. Let's see if you can survive longer than our last hero. Leaving your past behind, working for a farm owner was rough. Every day you were reminded that you were easily replaceable. In the days of tightening belt and strict food rationing, your employer wasn't exaggerating. As an amount of people in line to work around food was practically endless. Of course, according to the monastery, you weren't supposed to take anything for yourself, but in practice, the rule was impossible to enforce. Before you lost your job as a farmhand, you gained unrelenting stamina. Next turn, mana plus one. Oh, well, I don't need mana. Oh, I do need mana. Yeah, I do need mana. I mean, you know, I'm just kidding. Tactics are usually passives, so yeah. Currently, active tactics always placed in the top left corner. I love it. Explore. Spruce Horn. Spruce Horn is a secluded fishing community. Although the Ironbeard, Ironbeard dwarves have always been wary of people settling too close to their hold, this village was generally accepted for its valuable trade. Bounty contracts and payouts. Grab a beer and hear the latest rumors. Let's grab a beer and hear the latest rumors. Casting someone outside? That used to be a big deal, I tell you. Now, it seems like every other day, a dozen new convicts get dropped off in desolation. Um, where is the guild house that I go? That'll be five rations. Staying on the right path, I see. Bring me, bring me, uh, bring more heads, get more rations. Yeah, there's. Okay, cool. Um, spend night resting. Buy and sell or trade goods here. Food became the hard currency of Ruthia. Your rations are shown in the top right corner. Is this my rations? Yeah, it is. Each move in the map consumes rations. If you run out, your health will be consumed instead. Hand size. Maximum number of hand size. Countdown to Doomsday left. Hmm. Let's check out the side quests. Helping people is a great way to make some extra rations. Once accepted, your compass will show you the direction to go. Spruce Horn Merchant requested that I escort a grain hauler to Hothmark in one piece. The reward should be out 17 rations. I confirm. Yeah.
Press tab in order to inspect the deck trees. Oh, inspect my stuff. Okay. I have no equipment right now. All my stuff. My tabs. We're gonna throw dust a band. Tools. Sell for six rations. Oh, these are up. Fabric, pelts, and mithril. So that's a trade. Uh, explore a little bit. <laughs> Other travelers might trade or provide valuable resources. His fortified outpost serves as a watchful eye to the Ivory clan. Oh, you encounter a mage dressed in expensive robes. They aren't a measly initiate. You normally get to meet on the road, but rather a fully fledged member of the ring. As it turns out, their dust expenses exceeded their expectations, and they offer you their usual services. Their unusual services in exchange for a hefty amount of rations. Oh. I just keep on rolling then. So I gotta go low life, common, level five. Ooh, is he gonna attack me if I get there? That's the eye of the sea. It is. Doom, you will die in eight terms. Oh, lovely. You will die in seven turns. Discard cards. Enemy will discard cards from your hand. Oh, shut up. For real? You will die in six turns. Enemy will restore a portion of their HP. They will? They will? <laughs> they will? Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember them doing that. Ooh, I leveled up. Plus one starting MP. The intelligence is smart, huh? Epiphany. Discover a card from your discard pile. Destroy it to heal for its mana cost. Does destroy mean permanent? Destroy. Instead of being discarded, destroy cards get removed from the duration of the battle. Oh, that's not horrible. Heal blunt. Or this turn, physical hits called bleeding. I love it. Let's do it. This is the type of game that I would go back and do another run to figure out if, like, the... Uh, the um, was the uh, mage better or was the rogue better, you know? Complete it. There's my ration. They went up. Um, let's explore a little bit here. Offer traveler services. You meet a local miracle worker. She says she provides her services from village to village, though clearly not a member of the monastery, as no person of her kind would ever be. Her pointy ears give more than enough magical credibility for locals. However, you aren't suffering for anything in particular. Oh. I mean, I'm suffering from having pain in my butt that'll be five rations thanks what would I, can I buy stuff from you guys buy and sell trade goods buy oh okay it's a buy and top there we go buy for 37 rations oh they they bumped it so so you can like trade as you go along that's interesting is there anything I can find here? Let's rest. Camp outside. Barn. Um, a barn would fully heal me. The tavern or the merchant quarters. Sleep always allows you to regain your lost HP and level up your character when ready. Let's go barn. Each move rests in the map advances the turn. Enemies, friendlies, and settlements take their turn after you. Oh. I think I should just keep rolling here. Half Market Road. Here's the mine. Merchants Climb. Holtfard. Oh, there's a person over there. A low life. Level 5. You mean a grizzled bounty hunter? It seems that he drank away his savings. He's willing to share his experience from some rations. Let's do it. Yeah. 
In towns and villages, you have a chance to encounter other travelers who provide valuable services, like a level up. So I can get one starting MP bound now? Let's do it. Quick shot. 50% chance to deal 12 physical. Evasion plus 3. Enemy has a chance to miss it with melee attacks. Ooh. Sacrifice 1. Improvise a physical attack. Choose an, imme an immediate play card, usually from a specified set. Or I get plus 10 rations. I kind of like this one. 50 50 to do 15 damage. Let's go. 12 damage. Let's go. Who are you? Caravan? Carrying bread? Heading? Oh. So if I encounter them, do they. Can I not be like a, a robber? Dale Watch Tower. 23 rations? Heck yeah. What's that? Ooh, I want to go there in a minute. Dude, these question marks are here. Here's Dale. Here's Dale Watchtower. Ooh, what's this? Oh, you gave me a little extra. I love it. Eye of the Sea. Let's see what the Eye of the Sea is. In the evening sun, you see an unusually jolly company of dwarven miners. It seems that they have a little too much to drink, but they invite you to join them by the fire. Oh, that's nice of them. Let's do it. That's super cute. Let's play this low life over here. Yo, low life's got a. Chew, okay. You got some stuff, huh? <laughs> I don't have any defense. I'll discard you for more mana. And I'll do this for physical. Hit him, hit him. Yes! Yes, bleed! <laughs> bleed, baby! Oh, he blocks it. Brew filled grit preemptive. That's on grudge. I don't know what grudge means though. Next turn plus one mana. He's almost a dead man. Crush him. Death. There's a clan hold. Iron beer clan hold. Oh, wait, this is the one I, I'm not supposed to be at, right? 100 experience. Let's do it. Your hand size is now four. You can now draw more cards each turn and are able to hold that amount between turns. I love it. Another level up. Let's go. Um, let's see. I always feel like I should box this real fast so I can get some intelligence going here, but. Strength. Deal three times two piercing on grudge. What's grudge? Triggers when you take damage. If a percentage is given, your HP needs to drop below it to trigger the effect. Ungrudge below 50% HP. This morphs into block. Oh. 
That's really cool. Evasion plus one, deal deal three or deal three piercing. So it, it goes through the defense. So this is the same thing as this, but I get an evasion here and I get a grudge here. So this is a block otherwise. I'm going with the jab. Deserter, elite, rabbit swords, level 10. I kind of want to fight them, honestly. Now we're going to go over here. The planes. Hub delivered. Are they going to give me another, another quest? Um, to Dale Watch, 13 rations. I'll do it because I know exactly what Dale Watch is, and I'll just do it real fast. You know, it might take up all my turns. Complete. There's a question mark here just a second ago. I'll take that for 100 experience. Heck yeah, that's like... Bro, that's like uh, uh, a given right there, you know what I mean? Oh, halfling slipped through the gaps. That's so cool. You come across a wooden shed hidden in the bushes by the road. It seems that it serves as a food storage for somebody, but there are no household in sight. Chances are that it belongs to local bandits. The walls are crudely put together, forming large gaps, but the door is surprisingly sturdy. Oh, that's very nice. Rations plus 12. The Brigand Coast. Let's fight this guy, the low life. You die in eight turns. Alright, let's prove this guy wrong. We're not let's not let's prove that we're not gonna die in eight turns, okay? Oh, get wrecked, noob. Crush him. There's a level up there. Well, you level up quickly in this game. I love it. Max HP plus one, the weight limit. Yes. Deal three piercing for three turns. Mana plus one if bleeding. Deal five slashing, draw one. That one. The big thing is because it's... Because it's a... Um, uh, because it's... It draws one, so I get a chance to keep recycling my turn. The end of the Nostaria Reign is here. You can, they can't keep their own kind from stealing Robin, but we'll be fine in our hold. For us dwarves, it makes little difference whether our neighbors are men or monsters. I kind of wonder if I chose a different race, if I'd be somewhere else. Like, would I be in a... Would I be in a, um... In a forest if I chose an elf, or what? There you are. The word on the road is that they're after you now. You made some powerful friend. We need people like you for survive this insanity. Wait, who's after me? Oh, demo turns for. Levis says that the pe person got there in time. That's really cool. Fish delivered. You hear someone crying for help and notice an overturned cart by the side of the road. There's a lone girl lying on the ground next to it. When you approach, a shadowy figure appears out of nowhere and you realize that you just walked into a trap. <laughs> Half off. Walk away. <laughs> fight. Elite fight. Oh, it's a die guy. Wait. Sorry, I had to get a drink my drink. Enemy is worth more experience. Oh. Oh, yeah, it just has more HP. Okay. Um, uh, deal two physical. Ooh, I need more mana. Oh, that's the first time it missed. That's the first time I missed. Okay, let's uh, get rid of you. Bleed.
Oh god, he's healing quickly. That's what's going on. Okay, I need... There we go. I just, I'm like, I need just an onslaught. 329 experience? Oh! Equipment. Oh, I picked up equipment too. Paul wins. Equipment. Equipment cards work very similar to tactic cards by providing passive effects over the course of battle, but they are permanent and already in play at no cost. Once you pick it up a piece, it will automatically equip. <laughs> Armor plus one, starting defense one. Plus one. Yeah! Yes, confirm it. Keep it. Love it. Love it. Uh, predominant gangs. Given enough time and resources, local hoodlums start gangs and grow stronger by terrorizing travelers or locals even subduing entire settlements. Eliminating their members is a good way to keep a group in check, but eradicating a dominant gang can only be done by killing their leader. Is that the leader right there? So do you eliminate the lowlifes? Dangerous. Rabid swords. Gang power. Oh, so that's under... That's under gang there. Food and resources. Home turf, half marked plains. Your relationship, you are unknown. Leader location, who knows? Let's go there. What up? I'm here for your leader. Take me to your leader. Oh, you got a big sword, crap. Each physical attack depletes melee strength. Physical damage taken, physical damage increased. Oh, this is, this is the elite fight. Y'all were like, Y'all were like, last time, we're like, oh yeah, this is totally the elite fight. Oh, get hit. Get pounded. Discard or pass? Let's discard that, actually. Next turn, do that. Good block, good block, good block, good block, good block, baby, good block, good defense, good defense. Do that and crush him. Oh, crush him again. No, wait. Bleed. Bleed to death. Bleed me. I forgot to have the defense for that. Demo level cap reach. Dang, that means I would have been another level up. That was really cool. Oh, rabbit swords. There you go. That's so that those guys are part of the gang. That's what rabbit swords mean. And here's the monastery. That'd be 10 rations. Oh, yeah, because I had two things in there. Okay, that's the same event. Uh, Iron Monk requested I deliver medicine to Ironbeard Clan Hold. Sure. Trade house. Trade house is how you make your money. That's how you make your money right there. Um, let's leave Sunnyside Ranch. I would love to know if I got, if I can get a horse. Oh, who are you? Are you just someone random? Oh, get, get knocked. Hey, hey, I'm over here. I'm over here. You know what? It don't even... Oh, it doesn't matter now. Crap. I totally messed up. I thought I was going to crush him. I could have crushed him and then did the other thing. Mana and discarded bonuses. Playing a card costs mana. Number shown at the top. Discarding a card will grant you the bonus mana indicated. Yeah, you know. Demo turns zero, but I'm still playing. What up? Here's a rabbit swords. I wonder if I go here. Oh, wait, something's up. As the sun sets, you arrive at a clearing. Oddly enough, there's a tent in the campfire prepared to be lit, but not a soul in sight. But as soon as you begin to search for signs of battle, you hear footsteps just behind you. You turn around and see a lone ironclad dwarven warrior with a puzzled look on his face. He's bearing the colors of the Mithrondan gland, but his axe and shield are already at the ready. Read him in the dwarven way. Relieved to see a fellow dwarf, clanless or not, he invites you to join him by the fire. You learn he's a messenger for the king of Mithraldon. You spend the rest of the evening eating, drinking, and exchanging stories of your travel. I 
love that. Now, do I get two fights here? No, I get just the big boy. He's a double skull, too. Rabbit Zords will be first among equals. Elite items are much stronger and tend to have dangerous traits. Cool. Uh, Berserker enemy rages whenever you fully block their attack. Enemy is immune to bleeding effects. Oh, that sucks. Well, that does kind of that does kind of put a nip in my bud, I guess you want to say. He's gonna rage. Let's see what the rage does. Nine rages. Um, do I cleave here? Wait, he's immune to bleed, so <coughs> Ooh, can we do it? Panicking. Yeah, panic. That was a good one. Liberator of Harriet Helmstead. You go through the bandit's possession. The exhausted locals gather around you and pitch in to reward you for saving their homes. Aww. That's super sweet. Monastery robes. Magical resistance plus one experience plus five percent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of rations. Let's go start defense plus minus one. Let's go and hear some local Harriet Holmes that was saved by one of them adventurers. Like me. That's me. It's me. Hi. I'm the adventurer. It's me. Do I just keep to get going? Would you look at that? Our wannabe bounty hunter, Bulko the Butcher. I've been looking for you. You see, this uprising is much bigger than you think. We'll find that Dan Claymore and Ruthia should have a ruler once again. Oh, this is a boss. Enemy takes reduced from fire. Oh. So if you're a fire mage, that's it. Alright, daddy. Now let's make this a fair fight, okay? Discard one. Let's go with the slashing draw one. Let's go with the turn bleeding. Oh, dang. Destroy that. Bleed, bleed, baby, bleed. Oh, tried. I was gonna say make it make it go on in fashion. He's panicking? Panic. Enemy is panicking. Whenever this status is caused or refreshed, the enemy gets their buffs reduced. Oh. Perfect. New tribute unlocked. Wisdom cards and perks are now available. Oh, thank you. You survived the demo in the full game. 300 unique cards. 
150 card keywords, 30 synergizing status effects, 99 world map locations, 11 character backgrounds, 5 playable races, 15 build archetypes ready for unlimited mixing. This is phenomenal. Like, phenomenal. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. This is like a great mix of like the Battle Brothers genre that you would normally be with a bit deck building. Like, this is awesome. Thank you so much, Joe, for joining me for the new buffet, folks. Hope you find your next favorite indie. Peace.